All right, I need to clear something up because a lot of people think I broke Phil Dooley's leg where, um, because we were at a worship night, I think it was in Virginia Beach in the States, and um, it came right towards the end. And you know, by the end of it, we've kind of had praise and worship at the start and the message, and then we have an amazing time of worship. And the way that we usually finish a night is just the craziest praise party you could ever imagine. And everyone's just fired up and ready to go praising God. And Joel kind of will always say this thing at the start of the night, that, hey, look, tonight's just about, you know, you encountering God. There's no rules, you just, in freedom, let's praise and worship God. And he goes, but there's, there is one rule. He goes, just don't ever hurt anybody. So that's kind of like, yeah, as if, you, as if we want to hurt someone, like, come on. Anyway, so then at the end, it's kind of climax in this song all day and it's kind of building up, it's about to explode. So I just, I don't know, at the time I would always run up and jump on top of the drum kit because the drum was on a riser and crouch down. And then when the, the bridge just climaxed, I would just jump off. And, um, and I remember I was getting up there and I was pumped and I saw Dooley, um, our youth pastor, sitting crouching right in front of me, in front of the drum riser. He's going, jump me, jump me. And I'm like going, oh, no, no, like, I didn't want to jump him because I thought like I could have cleared him by a country mile. But um, I was like, no, nah, just I don't want to, you know, just in case I'd hurt him, I'd, I'd be devastated, you know. If I, you know, so I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to jump you. And he's like, jump me, no, nah, no. Nah. And because he's standing about a metre in front of me, a metre in front of the drum kit, and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. But I knew I was about to jump, and this is all happening within a matter of seconds, and I think, all right, I know what I'll do just to be safe. I will jump as high as I can, which, you know, I try to jump pretty high, and I'd land straight in front of the drum kit. So instead of jumping out, I'm just going to jump straight up and land straight down so I don't, you know. So this happens and what Phil thinks is I'm trying to jump him. So right at that same time, he slides right in to give me more clearance so I could easily get out. So I'm in midair and I see him. He looks up and it's like time stopped and I was just hovering up there going, this is not going to end good. This is bad. This is bad. And then obviously, bang, I come down on him and he's let like, and the, the shock of my, you know, I'm not a heavy guy, but I guess a bit of force and kind of snapped his leg in two places. But I kind of hit the back of his neck and, um, and I thought, oh no, I've killed our youth pastor. And this is like the first night of tour and I'm like going, this is horrendous. So, but the song's still going because it's just the bridge. So I'm trying to finish the song with there's thousands of people out the front or whatever. I'm kind of looking back and I see Phil lying there and I'm going, I'm trying to praise God, trying to go, oh no, what, like it was the most crazy, awkward moment. And, um, and then I kind of just see him hobbling to the side and Joel came and kind of picked him up and dragged him off. I thought, okay, he's alive, but maybe he'll never walk again and I'm freaking out. And then we finish the night and everyone's, and we kind of, everyone gets off stage and we're in our little kind of back room and everyone's talking about, man, how great was God tonight? It was, you know, we had such a good night and I'm just there going, I've killed Phil. Oh no, I've, I've hurt, because Phil wasn't in that room. And, I went and found him and basically, yeah, he'd broken his leg and we went to the hospital and he, that whole tour was when we released the United We Stand album. And so Phil had a message about how we have to stand for Christ and he preached that more than not in a wheelchair or sitting down because of his broken leg. But I will like to say that I think it's his fault because he moved, I wasn't gonna, it was out of my control. So despite what a lot of people think, I didn't break Phil Dooley's leg. I think he broke his own leg. I just happened to be there.